It is time. New products. New, 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 new. I don't need soundtrack, I got this now. Okay, so first up, want me to do this one? Yeah, why don't you do this one? Okay, this is, bang. The Ultimaker 2. It is one of our favorite 3D printers in the world. It's well built on an open source compact machine with excellent user interface. Every inch of the Ultimaker 2 is designed to create the most effective and effortless reliable 3D printing experiences ever. The print head silently precisely maps out your creation to an accuracy of 20 microns. That's really good. You know what? Let me cut to the chase a little bit. Hey, you know how you guys like the MakerBot Rep 2, fourth gen, before the fifth gen stuff happened? This is kind of the best one that's kind of like it. The precision is very, very good. You get very, yeah. very beautiful prints with this. Overhangs, bridgings, perfect. Um, the uh, Ultimaker created Cura, which is the open source software that most other manufacturers use. So the printer. Uh, harmonizes excellently with the software without any tinkering. Um, the large online community. See, this is one of the good things about open source because, don't get me wrong, I used to like me some MakerBot software. I thought that was one of the best things about it. I haven't played with it recently because I'm playing around with like the, the open source stuff. And if you have an open source thing going on, more people are de actively developing your platform. Um, out of the box, the Ultimaker is set up for the three millimeter filament, but can also use the 1.75. PLA and ABS with a little bit of modding using um, a PTFE tube, and uh, there's a link to that. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't work with NinjaFlex. That's one thing. To yeah, keep because in mind. it, it uh, extrudes from. Yeah. It doesn't have a direct. Yeah, so that's, the only, that's the only thing. Yeah. This is a great printer. I don't know if we have any left. We got these, um, and they went pretty fast. I think we sold a bunch of them. Yeah, we might have yeah. one or two left. If there is, it's a great time yeah, to get one up to get 10% off. Because you get the discount. And there's free UPS ground shipping, yes. Anyways, I'm excited about it. It's, cool. it's a good printer. So just to recap. Look at this beautiful Ultimaker. Yeah, and it's a fully assembled <laughs> printer. Yeah, it's it's, it's very nice. Um, I've always liked the print quality from the Ultimakers. They've had yeah. um, really beautiful prints, but the trade-off is you know you can't use Nintendo Yeah, Flex. I think all a lot of the stuff that we have here was made mm -hmm. with it. Okay, next up, it's a cable. These are some Pomona cables that are requested. Um, they're banana on the left to uh, a standard sort of Molex uh, 0 .1, uh, 1 inch grid. Uh, female socket. This is great if you want to like connect um, like a multimeter to a test point or you know use your uh, some test equipment and connect it to um, one of your products that has header on it uh, or wire or whatever a breadboard or a, a, a perforated without having to do the like clip to a piece of wire and then have that wire plug into something. So it's very compact and easy to use and um, very good for people. I would recommend definitely having one black and one red one. Yeah. Oh yeah, by your, the way, we also have red. Your wire kit. Because and these photos are the same. Just for like powering red. stuff, like if, especially if you have a um, benchtop power supply or benchtop oscilloscope or multimeter, this just makes it like really easy. You want You don't have to like hold stuff and worry about I it shorting this. or like moving around. You must get this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Stop okay. with the subliminal. It's not subliminal. Make sure okay. you get one. Okay, um, <laughs> next up. This is the 2.3 inch display that you were going on and on about. <laughs> What's so great about Oh, this? I was going on and on about. Yeah. This is, um, we had the 2.7 inch uh, white OLED. This week we have a 2.3 inch blue OLED. It's um, kind of the size of like a 16 by 2 um, LCD, but instead of being an LCD, it's an OLED and it's graphics. So you can display anything you want from text to lines to squares to circles, and they look really beautiful, and it's a, a lovely blue color. And because it's an OLED, the contrast is very good because the background is true black. Like the, the, Each pixel is actually a unique LED that lights up when that pixel is, is shining, so it doesn't have a backlight. So it doesn't use as, as much power, or like the power, is, it of course, depends on how much you're um, using, but you don't have to worry about this backlight leaking light everywhere, so it looks really, really good all the time. And I'm gonna show it off when I demo the next product. Um, it does use only three volt uh, logic. Uh, you can use I squared C, SPI, or 8-bit. We include a, um, a level shifter with your order so that you can use it with SPI. That's easily. nice of you. Yeah, it's like, I wish they would have included it on the PCB, but they don't, and these are pre-made modules, so. So you decided, we did I, the best. I should give you a level shifter. I'm gonna give you a level shifter. That's nice. Not okay. like some people who would be like, you have to go buy one. Like, stingy. Stingy. They're stingy. This is like, it's 30 cents. I just toss it in. Okay. Um, so the star of the show, besides uh, you tonight, is the Blue Fruit Ellie Micro. This is cool. 
And can I, can I, for the non-technical folks that are, the, or the, maybe the newbies, can I just translate what this is real are you, quick? You want to noobs it? No, I just want to say what I think it is. Fine, you say okay. what you think it is. All the best things about Arduino and low, t low energy Bluetooth combined onto one board. Okay. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. See, that's what, that, that's, that's the, that's what it's I. It's like a Flora, but. It's like a, yeah, but it's a, it's an Arduino. It's an Arduino compatible chip. It's like an Arduino compatible. It's like all the best things about Arduino, but it's. Bluetooth low energy. Yeah. And it's combined okay. on one board. Okay, you want to do the combining thing? No, I'm just saying that's what it is because okay. you're going to say so many smart things that are super technical. Okay, we'll stop gonna, here. Yeah. So go back. Right. Okay. So this is the Bluefoot Micro. So we've been doing a lot of Bluetooth low energy stuff as people who've been watching have noticed. And so we're finally getting up to like our penultimate Bluetooth low energy board. So once we had the, you know, the UART friend and we had the SPI friend, um, then we're ready for the Bluefruit Micro, which is an all-in-one dev board that has an Atmega 32U4, which is the same chip used in the Flora um, and the um, Arduino, Leonardo, and Micro. Um, and we put that chip on there with a USB interface and some level shifting and more resistors, capacitors, and crystals. And then we put the Bluetooth on the other end. So you see that little red square, that's the Bluetooth module. So this is basically an all-in-one. You can program it like you would with the Arduino IDE, or you can use um, AVR Dude and AVR GCC. That's also completely fine. Um, you program it however you want, and you can use this Bluetooth energy link to communicate with tablets, phones, um, you know, computers if necessary, if you want as a bi-directional link. And what's neat is that you can like use our app, which I'll demo, to send data back and forth from an Android or Apple device. And it's like free and easy, and it's a great way to basically make your project mobile. And if you want to make this project uh, so you don't have to keep it plugged in, you could power it and, and program it over micro USB. But like, let's say you're like, well, I want to make it portable. You can get our light poly backpack, and it, you, know, you solder it on top. And now you have a little light poly rechargeable Wait, you backpack. made it work with the backpacks too? Yeah. Oh my god. Well, well, you want to take it around with you portably. So, so it does make sense. So if you're doing mobile stuff, your little mobile device should be mobile, right? Well, there's, like, there's, it depends because on one hand, you could have this connected to like your computer and you can have it act like a keyboard or a mouse or like just UART or whatever yeah. USB device. And it can talk to like your mobile phone or tablet. So maybe you don't need to be mobile. But if you do want it to be transportable, then you can add a battery mm -hmm. and a battery backpack so it recharges uh, automatically over the micro USB connector. I like what you did with um, the battery backpack thing because now we have a whole product line that works with the little backpack yeah because like for the trinket and it's the pro trinket and then the um also the uh, soundboard it's like well it already has a micro usb on it but like you you know you don't necessarily have to use a lipo battery you might want to use like double a's so you don't want to plug that in if you're yeah. you know you don't you only want to have this available for when you know you're going to use a light poly battery because you can't have the charger with like alkalines, it damages them. Okay. So it's a trade-off. You can so fix battery. Cool. In addition to these great photos, if there was like a live demo. I have a live demo. A live demo that. Yes, yeah, like so this is a kilo board. You put on a on a uh, breadboard, and then yeah, you basically have like 20 GPIOs, and you also have um, the LE. So this is actually my live demo. So I'm gonna unplug this Buckle up, to prove that you do not have to have. Whoa. Um, what? So there's no power going into this. Yeah. It's self-powered. Right now, it's it's. Device. I, I charge with the battery, so it's running, and I catch okay. the OLED, so it's okay. convenient. Okay. And I've got my um, I've got do? my tablet here. Okay. So I've started up the um, Bluefruit app, which is in my desktop. So just click on the Bluefruit logo, and it takes yeah. you there. And uh, there's all the stuff here, but I'm going to connect to the um, Adafruit Bluefruit LE, and I'm going to pick controller mode. Okay. And then it blanks Whoa, the screen. It knows it's connected. Yeah, so the app has all sorts of data that you can send from the phone or tablet, which is the Android or, or iOS, but I just happen to have a, an iOS tablet with me. Um, so it can send data from the phone, such as a quaternion, accelerometer, gyro, magnetometer, a GPS location. So the data that's in that the, your cell phone or tablet knows can send it out. Um, there's also a control pad, so you can uh, turn this until you know, like, can control it and have like up and down arrows if you want to have like a robot or something that needs buttons. There's also a color picker, which we've demoed, where you can pick a color and, and send it to change the color of a NeoPixel. But um, what I'm going to demo today is the Quaternion. Um, so this is uh, basically like instead of having a um, motion sensor that you would hook up, you can instead use your phone. And then when you uh, move the tablet or phone around, it knows the orientation. So I have it flat on the desk. 
I'm going to zoom in. Uh, you can see that it's 0, 0, basically 0, and then 1 because it's, it's sitting flat. And then if I turn it over, um, the quaternion changes to basically 0, negative 1, 0, 0. So you can have like x, y, z, and, and twist as well, I think yaw or whatever, um, for uh, the orientation and location of, of this tablet. And um, I can also uh, turn it off. It doesn't actually have to be, I mean, it's, it's sleeping. It's not uh, just the display isn't on. And it still works. So this kind of shows you the kind of project that you can do just using our app, like without even anything else. Um, you can have motion data sent from your phone to Bluetooth to you know the Arduino ID, and you can log it, or you can do something with it. So it lets you like basically. What I like about this is it lets you use your phone, which you probably already have. You probably have a smartphone. Well, it's packed full of like GPSs and accelerometers and magnetometers and like sensors and 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 it has a touch screen, so you can now use that instead of having to purchase a separate accelerometer for. Um, the Blue Fruit Micro. So this is just a demo showing how easy it is. This took me about 10 minutes to get going. Like I took the OLED code and I took the Blue Fruit LE yeah. demo code and I just said like, hey, when you get this data printed out to the display. Yeah. One of the things that's really tough nice. and take it from me, I'm not a, I'm not a lady Ada, is all this stuff never works together, but when we do it, it does because we don't want everyone to spend all their time trying to get stuff to work together. We actually want you to do your projects. <laughs> yeah. So it just works. So like this is just like this is like the demo. So this is usually like the final project somebody can build. It's like okay, I finally got this like the phone adopted. Like, like a year thesis. BLE to yeah. the you know Arduino or the, to the microcontroller. Now you're pretty much and you're like make it battery powered. And now you're like out of the box. All that stuff already works. Yeah. Um, and we're going to be of course adding more and more to the Blue Fruit app, but okay. um, including MQTT support, but which is which is very exciting coming soon. Um, so you'll be able to use your phone or tablet as a uh, Bluetooth to internet gateway to Adafruit.io. So like all the stuff that you want to do that is actually really, really hard to do and you always have to like spin up your own servers and like write your own like iOS code, you won't have to do that anymore. You'll just be able to use the app, use the example code and get going to the project you really want to build like um, tracking your quail or something. Yeah. Okay. And with that, Lady Ada, guess Quaternions. What? With that, it is... Uh... In the new products. All right. Blammo, good work.